There's, eh, they just tuned it out. They don't care. AJ Bayapur out sampling the responses to what happened this morning. He's in the newsroom now. What'd you find out, AJ? Yeah, Brad, we really found a wide range of attitudes toward this hearing. Some people were just ignoring it, saying they'll catch up later. Others could not take their eyes off the former FBI director's testimony. Was the Russian activity at the right height YMCA in Brown Deer in the 2016 election a one off? Ordinary activities. It stepped up a notch in a significant way. Against the backdrop of a hearing that is anything but business as usual. Well, it's amazing. I'm old enough to remember Watergate. Steve Friedman says he can't help but watch the Comey hearing with his jaw dropped. This is completely different. We're talking about uh, the head of the FBI sitting there saying that he didn't trust the president. Because I've been traveling at Mitchell Airport since 7 o'clock this morning. People come and go from each corner of the country Thursday. Every TV shows what's happening in Washington. Some watch, others, like Phil Crockett, are ready to turn the page. Reading the book and then every once in a while I kind of glance up and read what's going on and back to the book. Visiting Milwaukee for a wedding, the Crockett's are heading back to North Carolina. Phil says he'll catch up at home. I'm not that concerned about it. If the president did something bad, that'll come out. And if he didn't, it'll come out. I see the one party, it's to their advantage to keep this going as long as they can. I'm very concerned. Jim Herman just retired. He's moving back to Wisconsin from Florida. We're the salmon that swim counter to the stream. Herman says he's missing the hearing as he travels, but is willing to watch an entire replay of Comey's testimony once he settles back in. I think it's a very significant moment in our country, and uh, I think you know, it behooves all of us to know as much as possible. And today we also talked to people who said they want to see coverage of the hearing from both a liberal and conservative perspective. Others said they want to see it without any outside commentary. Truly a wide range of attitudes. Live in the newsroom, AJ Bayapur, Fox 6 News. All right, AJ, thanks for uh, talking to the folks and seeing what's on. The